the next step is saving your R code. I mean, not the next step, it is a step one. So you have seen my previous video in which I, am sh I showed you it's a three-step process. So step one, of course, is your uh, .r file uh, that you need to save. Let me give you an example of what can be made automated. So for example, you have written an R code which you need to tell your Windows system to run automatically at a fixed interval. For example, you may want to run a forecasting model on updated data that is available in the database every day. So data is update, getting updated every day. And update another database with the updated forecast. If the process is repetitive, then what you are currently doing is getting the data in R. So whatever data is gets updated, uh, getting it in R, you run the forecasting model again with the updated data. You are updating it in another database and then people, your stakeholders are seeing what the new forecast um, that has come because uh, previous days data is already available as actual data. So you want to run it probably for the next 30 days. <clears throat> or if it is weekly, so once the weekly data is updated, you want to add one more week in your forecast. Uh, so you can make the entire thing automated. There are many other examples in which you can make things automated. So this is how uh, this is an example. You, you can have many other examples as well. Uh, this is the R code I will make automated. Uh, if you are an R expert, you don't need to see this. You just need uh, this one. So I'm reading a data set uh, which has been given. This is These are the column names, name and entry. And uh, there are only one entry, Raihan. This is my name. And 10th of November, 2007. So I want to... Uh, run this script in R, and I I I want to save it uh, as a .csv file, CSV file format, and name it as schedule.csv. For the sake of uh, this presentation, I am just running this code. You can have a big thousand line code code here. Doesn't matter. Uh, you may not want to write a CSV file anyway. You may want to write uh, uh, the uh, the day. You may want to update another uh, this data in an, another database, for example, Oracle SQL Server or Microsoft SQL Server, something like that. You can do anything. So in my example, I am writing a CSV file because I want to check if it is working. So when the task scheduler runs the code, the batch file, I should have a scheduled CSV file in the folder that I know, okay, it's working fine. So this is step one. In the next video, I'll show you step two. Thank you for watching.